Hello everyone, welcome to Reactify Labs. Today we will talk about APN and FCM. So let's write down the headline first APNs and FCM. <clears throat> so if you have watched my previous video, you know that APN stands for Apple Push Notification Service and FCM stands for Firebase Cloud Messaging. Okay, so let's start by writing down their full forms. <coughs> Apple push notification and FCM is Firebase Cloud. messaging okay <clears throat> hmm. now let's discuss the structure that we are going to follow today first we will talk about APN here we will first go with the overview uh, technical overview of APN then we will talk about the technical workflow of APN then we will see the authentication mechanism that uh, APN follows authentication <coughs> mechanism and we'll talk about the advanced features that APN supports and after that we will move to FCM and in that also we will follow the same structure okay now let's start with APN so APN is a robust notification service it's a robust <coughs> notification service provided by apple it's a robust notification service provided by apple which is integral to maintaining integral to maintaining real time communication with real time communication with apple devices so ios mac os and watch os devices so if you have not watched my previous video on web hooks please go and watch it there I have explained in detail uh, how webhooks enable real-time communication and what are the other things that webhooks provide and there I had discussed in brief about APNs and FCM. So please watch that video <clears throat> or you can watch this video then go to that video also so that you will understand APN and FCM more there. Okay. So APN is a robust notification service provided by Apple, which is integral to maintaining real-time communication with Apple devices. Okay. So APN relies on a persistent and relies on a persistent and encrypted connection established between the devices. Persistent and encrypted connection established between the <coughs> sorry established between the device and the apple servers <coughs> apple servers ensuring secure and efficient data transmission ensuring secure and efficient data transmission okay <clears throat> so each device generates a unique token upon device registration with apns which serves as an identifier for routing notifications okay so like let's say this device this is your iphone which is registering with apn so it gets a unique token which is provided to the apn then apn uses that token 
to direct the notifications for this device okay uh, so it uses this token to identify okay where this device is and uh, directs the notification which is specifically for that device okay <coughs> notifications sent through apns contain a payload that includes essential information such as message content sound batch count and custom data we are we have discussed all this in detail in the webhooks video okay now let's talk about the technical workflow of apns <coughs> technical workflow of APNs. First step is token registration. <coughs> token registration. Upon app installation or launch, the device registers with APNs by obtaining a device token which is then sent to the app server. Next is server interaction. Server interaction. When a notification is triggered, the app server constructs a JSON payload containing the notification details and the recipient's device token. Next is HTTP POST request. Actually, HTTPS POST request. <coughs> the server sends an HTTPS POST request to the APN server including the payload and authentication headers for secure communication and in the end delivery to devices apns delivers the notification to the target devices using optimized routing algorithms ensuring fast and reliable delivery de uh, delivery sorry next let's talk about the authentic authentication mechanism that apns follow authentication mechanisms <clears throat> so first one is provider authentication the app server authenticates with apns using either a provider certificate or token based authentication next is provider certificate A cryptographic certificate issued by Apple to the app server is called provider certificate which enables secure communication with APNs and last token based authentication. <coughs> token based authentication an alternative method where the server obtains a temporary authentication token from Apple's authentication server. Okay now let's see what are the advanced APNs features. advanced features of APNs. So one is silent notifications, <coughs> silent notifications. APNs support silent notifications that do not display any visible content to the user but can trigger background tasks or update the app's content. You must have seen it daily um, in your usage of iPhones if you have an iPhone or if you don't have an iPhone even um, FCM also supported Android phones also supported you can silent your notifications even though your notifications you do not get notification for example let's say if you disable the notifications of your email or WhatsApp you don't get it but still background processing happens for example if you have enabled uh, the image or video download as soon as you receive on WhatsApp then it means the even if you don't get the notification that somebody has sent you a message it still gets downloaded to the phone it means background process happens right so that's what silent notifications is about next is topic based notifications topic based notifications so developers can send notifications to specific topics or channels using topic based subscriptions allowing for targeted messaging so the topics for you which you have subscribed only those notifications you will get and next is feedback service feedback service so APNs provides a feedback service that enables the server to receive information about devices that have uninstalled the app or disabled notifications so that it does not send notifications to those devices okay now let's move to the FCM and start with the technical overview of FCM <coughs> 
now we will talk about fcm and we will start with technical overview so fcm is a comprehensive messaging solution developed by google fcm is a comprehensive messaging solution provided by google provided by google facilitating cross platform communication with android facilitating cross platform communication <coughs> provided by android ios and web applications so this one is not restricted to apple devices only okay or uh, in this case uh, unlike apple devices this is not uh, restricted to android devices only fcm operates on cloud based architecture with google cloud platform serving as the backbone for message routing and delivery similar to apns devices register with fcm to obtain a unique registration token for receiving push notifications okay now let's see the technical workflow of fcm technical workflow first one is token registration again so devices request a registration token from fcm upon app installation or launch which is then sent to the app server for message targeting next is message construction The app server constructs a JSON payload containing the notification content and the recipient's registration token. Next is HTTP request. The server sends an HTTP POST request to the FCM server, including the payload and authentication credentials for secure transmission. And in the end, delivery to devices. Delivery to devices. So FCM routes the notification to the target devices using platform specific protocols ensuring reliable delivery across different operating systems. Now let's see the authentication mechanism that FCM follows. So authentication mechanism so first is server key fcm uses a server key obtained from the firebase console to authenticate app servers and authorize message delivery and next one is api key an api key linked to the firebase project grants access to fcm apis and services which enables developers to send and manage notifications programmatically okay and let's talk about now the advanced features supported by fcm advanced features first is topic messaging fcm supports topic based messaging allowing developers to broadcast notifications to subscribe devices based on predefined topics okay uh, similar to apn uh, whichever topic you subscribe to only the notification you get only uh, notifications for that particular topic you will get next is data messages in addition to standard notifications fcm enables the delivery of custom data messages to applications which facilitates real time updates and synchronization and delivery analytics fcm provides detailed analytics and reporting on message delivery including delivery rates 
error logs and device registration statistics okay so it it provides more detailed uh, information about uh, the notifications or the delivery of messages uh, what happened to it if it succeeded or not how many times it got failed a lot of things okay so yeah that's all there was uh, to talk about apns and fcm uh, i hope after this video you have some idea about uh, the different notification services now next time when you go to any system design interview and you are asked to design systems like facebook or instagram or whatsapp and there you draw something 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 and in the end you draw a notification service and here somebody asks you what kind of notification service will it be then you can tell them that if the device is like actually you will have both apn and fcm so for ios devices it will be apn for uh, android devices it will be fcm okay even though fcm is supported for ios um, you can use it for ios but apn cannot be used for android devices okay so you can talk more about apns and fcm you can talk about uh, if if the interviewer wants to go in the details of how apns and fcm work you can talk about the token registration and other things which are involved in this uh, um, registration of device with uh, these notification services okay so yeah you got some more things to talk about in your interview after watching this video so i hope this gives you a uh, a uh, good understanding of different notification services and uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching please remember to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one